Imagine a revival of spiritualism, when the seance becomes mass entertainment, and the spirit medium becomes a superstar. This was the case in pre-war Germany, where spiritualists would influence the National Socialist Party. Celebrated Austrian medium Maria Orsic rose to fame when in addition to her ability to speak to the dear departed, she initiated communication with inhabitants from another world. Maria Orsic was the leader of the Freel Gesellschaft, a society of female mediums. It became fashionable in the 1920s for girls to bob their hair, but the women of the Vrel society wore their hair very long. They believed their hair acted as an antenna, enabling them to boost the power of their psychic sensitivity. Maria's power of reception was the strongest of them all. She received detailed messages from the inhabitants of a planet in orbit of the star Aldebaran, a red giant in the constellation of Taurus. It is the eye of the bull and one of the four sacred stars of the ancient Persians. The Aldebarans visited Earth as ancient astronauts in the Mesopotamian Fertile Crescent, they encountered scattered primitive tribes of humanity, whom they guided to become the mighty empire of Sumeria. The word Vril itself is Sumerian and translates as godlike. Automatic writing is the psychic ability to produce the written word while channeling a supernatural source. During sessions in which she contacted the extraterrestrials, Maria Orsic produced two such documents. One of these documents was written in a code used by German Templars. The other was written in the language of ancient Sumeria. Upon translation, the Sumerian document revealed the secret of the power source known as Vril. Vril is a form of free energy popularized in a 19th century novel believed to have been based on secrets of the occult. The power of Vril can be used either to heal or to destroy. With the rise of the National Socialists in Germany, Certain high-ranking army officers formed the Thule Gesellschaft. One of the interests of the Thule Society was the use of the occult for military purposes. Naturally, the war machine could make good use of a source of free energy. And so the Thule Society absorbed the Vril Society. With the benefit of extraterrestrial technology, German scientists designed a flying craft powered by Vril energy. By imparting this advanced knowledge to the people of Earth, the Aldebarans believed they were helping us to achieve a golden age. Their intent was to release us from our economic shackles. When they learned their technology was being used for purposes of warfare, they abruptly ended all communication. It was up to German scientists to fill in the gaps. One of their early prototypes was called the Round Airplane. It had anti-gravity propulsion, which was completely silent. But its first test flight was also its last. It was flown by Lothar Weitz, a veteran pilot. It rose to a height of a hundred feet before the craft became unstable, tilting and wobbling in the air for several minutes. To the pilot it seemed like an eternity. Weitz managed what he thought was a safe landing, 
However, after departing the craft, it exploded into a million pieces. More successful models would follow the Rundflugzeug. Models such as the Hunter, the Destroyer, the Ghost, the Defender, and the Holy Devil. Provisions were made for armaments in all models, such as cannons and machine guns. At the end of hostilities in 1945, all the women of the Vril Society disappeared. The last recorded message of Maria Orsic, dispatched to her inner circle, was only four words. Nobody is staying here. Neither was any Vril-powered flying machine ever recovered by the Allies. One theory holds that Maria escaped to another solar system in the constellation of Taurus. Another is that she took up residence a little closer to home in a colony on the dark side of the moon.